Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me, and it's, uh, it's, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. Um, uh, now, on the Armenian elections, um, I think th there's a positive uh, side to this and there's some negative sides. I mean, I think if you look at, at uh, the assessments of international observers, if you look at what the United States uh, uh, ambassador uh, said, you know, they did note that uh, the, the actual voting day um, and all the technology that was put in uh, worked quite well. Um, and I think, you know, there wasn't as many allegations of ballot stuffing, of multiple voting that we've seen in previous elections. So, um, you know, the, the, uh, that's a positive development. Um, but, you know, still uh, there are questions about the overall climate uh, uh, of this election. Um, and uh, the allegations of you know vote buying, the allegations of, of administrative pressure being put on on certain people, which which is you know a, a problem Armenia has has faced uh, for a long time. But I think you know the the fact that election day went better is a positive positive sense, and I you know I hope that you know moving forward um, uh, the uh, the environment uh, around elections uh, will also improve and continue to, to get better. To what, which extent do you think that uh, the parliamentarism prevail in this? Election? Well, I think only time will tell. I mean, the uh, the, the ruling party uh, did quite well, um, uh, and you know I've seen some prelim preliminary reports that there's talk with uh, about a co coalition with the Dashnak party, uh, and then um, you know Sarukian's party. Where is it, it going to be? I think it's also not not clear. I was sort of hoping that there would be more. You know, uh, opposition. Um, tr you know, uh, farther away. Um, uh, you know, the Yelp party is is um, is positive that it that it passed the threshold, um, but uh, Levon Terpotrosin's party did not. Um, and I think you know, to truly have a, a parliamentary democracy, you need multiple voices in there and multiple voices to to. Um, uh, to uh, you know, push alternative agendas. Um, I do think that that you know this this rather young um, uh, uh, political block uh, passed into parliament. I think there's promising people in that, promising ideas, um, and I really wish them well and, and hope that they remain actively engaged. I would have liked to have seen a few more. Um, I am, you know, a little bit concerned if if uh, you know uh, the three big parties that 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 did the best all come into a you know grand coalition because then it doesn't really give a whole lot of room uh, for the opposition. But I'm generally, I'm very optimistic about uh, Ar Ar Armenia's political development. Uh, every time I've, I've been there, I've seen uh, uh, how vibrant civil society is, uh, how civil society activists want to hold the government accountable um, and, uh, and you know, want to have a greater space. And the government, you know, there, there are, there are you know, ways in which the government is concerned, but this is happening uh, to a greater extent than in some of, uh, some of your neighbors um, and in some other uh, countries in the broader region as well. And so I'm, I'm generally optimistic uh, on sort of the state of civil society. Um, I was hoping that, that the, these elections would help sort of pull more uh, of these, these groups into sort of the parliamentary uh, debates. I'm happy to see that one uh, very vocal group I is in, um, and uh, you know, hope that uh, you know this this new system will allow for more institutionalized um, sort of uh, means to get some of these these alternate voices uh, in, into government. But again, uh, only time will tell. Um, you know, I do think uh, you know the the the, the ruling party um, as we enter into this new system, uh, it has. Some big challenges ahead. Uh, they they talked a lot about uh, you know improving the investor climate, trying to bring in um, uh, lots and lots and lots of foreign investors, um, and that is going to be quite challenging. They need to jumpstart the economy. That is going to be quite challenging. Uh, over the past year, we saw large uh, uh, you know protests that were. Um, uh, you know, connected to nagorno karabakh connected to corruption issues in the military, um, and these are all issues that that need to be need to be addressed. Um, and uh, uh, so, you know, the the uh, you know uh, the new parliamentarians, all of them, uh, and uh, you know the, the ruling party uh, in whatever form a coalition it, it, it develops is going to have a lot of work ahead of them. Um, and it's going to be quite challenging. Uh, this is a government, th this is a party that has been in power uh, for 10 years. Uh, and if you look everywhere around the world, uh, politicians who've been there uh, that long uh, generally falter. If you look at the United States, Secretary Clinton, she'd been in politics for 20 years. Her party uh, had been ruling the United States for, for, for eight, uh, and she couldn't pass, you know, pass the threshold uh, here. 
Um, and so uh, there's sort of like a 10 year itch uh, where, where, you know, um, and so I think what this says is that, you know, there are some, you know, uh, newer faces in the ruling party. And, and I think, you know, uh, hopefully some of these, these people will sort of push to get some of their, their ideas and their, and their um, you know, policies, you know, alternate policies through. Um, you know, I do think that, that you know, governments, you know, gradually um, uh, and, and people gradually tire of politicians who've been around for so long. I mean, I think you can see that in the Armenian election results. You have uh, Mr. Uh, Ohanian and Mr. Oskanian and, and former President uh, Ter Petrosian all did very poorly, as did Rafi Hovanissian. These are politicians who've been around since the 1990s. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I am hopeful. Uh, I see a lot of a very promising young uh, civil society and political, act political actors in Armenia, and I hope that this new political system will give them a choice to sort of show themselves and, and prove themselves, uh, whether they're from within the ruling party or from you know, one of the other parties. Um, but I am, I am optimistic. Um, but you know, the country faces a lot of a lot of problems, um, and uh, you know, in addition to the economic ones, there's the security problem as well. Um, and I, as as you know, I we noted earlier. You know, um, uh, Ter Petrosian's party did particularly poorly. It's unclear whether that is because people are tired of him or whether they are concerned about the more accommodationist uh, approach he's had uh, towards Nagorno-Karabakh, particularly after um, uh, 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 the violence and the, and the war uh, last year. Um, uh, I, you know, I do think that the, um, uh, the situation right now between Armenia and Azerbaijan is very worrying. Um, and you know I can understand why um, uh, uh, you know why people uh, you know don't want to accommodate, um, but uh, I think uh, the the prospect for you know renewed violence is is definitely there, um, and uh, that makes me uh, a bit concerned um, uh, uh, for for you know, the stability and security of of Armenia and the region as a whole and Nagorno Karabakh. And uh, speaking about the new generation of politicians, uh, in Armenia, uh, 2018 must be the second round of the very important political developments in Armenia, and everyone expected something is going to be changed or not. Mm -hmm. uh, the decision uh, should be made by the president whether he's going to be more active in the politics or whether he's going to step behind. Step behind. I don't know what um, you know uh, uh, what the future holds um, uh, uh, for that, but I do think you know it, it is very good to have uh, new blood uh, mm -hmm. and, and new ideas. Um, I think he uh, you know he's been uh, a very astute at uh, his foreign policy over the past uh, ten years. I mean he has he has or nine years I guess he's been in office now. He has um, you know Armenia has very good relations uh, with the United States, very good relations with Europe, uh, but also with a close security um, uh, partnership with with Russia and being able to manage that, particularly over the last two years, has has proven that that you know he's been successful um, in in doing that, managing that that foreign policy, um, uh, and uh, you know whoever uh, uh, follows, um, I, I would hope that that sort of that that type of foreign policy would, would continue. Um, uh, but I think you know some of the, the, the biggest problems uh, that Armenia will face are, are internal, the economic problems, um, uh, and you know how to move uh, peacefully through this new political reform uh, at a time when, when I think over the past year we've seen that that a sector of Armenian po population is not very happy with with uh, the status quo, and how do you sort of how does a how does a society um, and how does the government you know respond to that. Uh, and I think that is going to be one of the biggest challenges uh, for whoever uh, is is uh, in, you know, in a in a uh, in, in a prime minister spot in a president spot, whoever whoever is you know is powerful and ministers, um, and I think that is going to be um, uh, you know issues to watch uh, in the future. And I think that's probably you know right now, I think that's clear that that, that that's going to be a, an issue. I think those are the issues to watch more than who's the specific person who's going to be running. It's, it's still a year away. And uh, can we say that Armenia is moving towards two party systems? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a reflection of the two biggest competitors. Two other parties did also uh, uh, do well. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, time will tell um, how different the two parties uh, actually are. Um, you know, uh, much of Armenian politics, at least in, in my time, has been as much about personalities um, and political alliances as it has been about uh, 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 programs. 
uh, and policies. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I would hope that uh, that you know, as our media moves and and um, uh, you know forward, uh, it becomes more about ideas and less about the people themselves. And I think that would be a uh, you know would help lead to a much you know more. Um, you know, productive uh, political system and, and one that I think would, would uh, hopefully become, uh, uh, you know, um, more democratic. Uh, uh, um. there's, a, there's a big difference between the, those parties that made it in and those parties that didn't. Um, and, you know, some of, as I said, uh, you know, populations general, generally tire of their politicians uh, and many of these people have been there for a long time. Uh, and uh, they've served Armenia very well, uh, but uh, you know I think it is time for for um, uh, you know for for new ideas, and I think that's what the Armenian people seem to have have said um, that you know new ideas, new personalities, new people, and so I'm hopeful that you know this this political system and the new you know the parliamentary system is going to you know uh, focus more attention on on specific politicians from all all um, you know political parties that are in parliament. And I hope that will, you know, enable um, you know the, the promising, talented people with ideas to sort of rise, you know, rise up uh, within the political system and, and, and get noticed. Um, but as I said, you know, that we're only at the start of this process, and how this this transition is managed, I think, uh, is key. You know, I don't think any specific system is, is better suited towards democracy. One, a parliamentary or a, or a presidential system, it is just how that 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 specific system is then implemented. And and you know, I, I'm hopeful um, uh, as as we you know we go forward that this this new system will um, you know it's the system that's there now. Um, we you know people disagreed about changing it or uh, and some didn't, but it's the system that's there now. And I hope that it will evolve to to allow sort of true talent to rise rise up there and, and really allow true debate uh, uh, and institutionalize some of those debates I've heard out in civil society and pull them you know, closer uh, in closer connection with the government. If that happens, it's still a big if, uh, and only time will tell. Um, I think that would be a positive, positive trend, but I think you know, we're only at the start of this transition, um, and uh, you know, we'll see what, what people decide to do about their own futures and then see what happens uh, with the political developments as well. Um, but as I said, you know there are there are pressing issues that that, that uh, this new parliament is going to have to face, and the president, uh, in his remaining time in office as president, is going to have to face the economic problems, some of the social problems, um, and the big security uh, threats that uh, uh, that the country faces. Um, and uh, it, you know that will require a lot of um, uh, you know a lot of work both at home and a lot of delicate work uh, you know internationally. Uh, and so um, it's a it's a, uh, a big role. And considering the quick reaction from Moscow, for example, President Putin congratulated uh, President Sarkisian. Uh, U.S. Embassy issued a statement, uh, which mentioned the uh, assessment of the OEC mm -hmm. uh, observers. But in any case, it accepted the result of the elections. Mm -hmm. uh, and the statement from European Union. Uh, can we say that? Big players, regional players, in any case, satisfied with the uh, with the elections in Armenia, and will continue cooperate. I mean, I think that big players will, of course, continue to cooperate. It's it's in their interest. Um, they cooperate with whoever is in government uh, anywhere. Uh, they want to see, um, and you know, both the United States and and Europe, you know, gave a lot of assistance and and sort of worked with some of the technical uh, issues. And so the fact that they those issues went well, um, uh, of course they're going to mention that, um, uh, and that's positive. Um, uh, but I think you know, they, they recognize you know, the election uh, was done, it was better than some previous elections, mm -hmm. the results are there. Um, I think you know, a few are, are surprised by the ruling party's win. Um, uh, I think more people are surprised by some of the losing party's loss than the, the ruling party's win. Um, and. Uh, uh, and so, uh, you know, my sense is that the big international players, uh, you know, will continue to work um, with, you know, this government, uh, you know, moving forward, and, and you know, the, the future relationship with Europe seems to be on track, and, and hopefully the, the relationship with the United States will also stay on, on track. Mm -hmm.